Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Today's video is kind of a doozy, but we also got a few things to go over first before we actually get into the meat of the video, which is actually the amended motion to compel. So, first things first, we got a couple of tweets from Ron Toye and Monica Rial. The first one is from Ron and it's actually quite similar to Monica's, so we'll just go through these first. So Ron Toye has said, Hello Twitterverse, my schedule is crazy for the next few weeks so I'll not be very responsive or post much on here. I wanted to give everyone a heads up and when things get back to normal I will be back at it. Ron Toye's custom smiley face. And when you look at Monica's tweet, we have... Hey everyone, my schedule is crazy for the next few weeks, so I may not be responsive as usual. I'll still post updates though. Just wanted to give you a heads up. Once things slow down, I'll be back to chatting with you. Much love to you all. So, they're basically exactly the same tweets, because obviously this week now we know that they will be uh, going into court on the next couple of weeks doing their own discovery, hopefully trying to actually do the discovery and everything else, but they will be subject to actually facing the judges and everything else. So, they've probably been told by the lawyers now and everyone else, basically, shut up. Don't do anything online, don't say anything, you're going to be busy, don't bother with any of that, you don't need it. Which is true. So it's actually quite nice to see now that they actually may be taking this seriously for once mostly because both of them they both basically posted the same tweet you know schedule is crazy may not be as, as responsive or post much on here and you know it's still basically the first line or two is exactly the same but another one I wanted to show was actually quite a, a simple one I actually find it quite funny and it's to do with Greg Duche the actual lawyer who has come onto Twitter all of a sudden out of the blue and he started, he's just started being with Kick Vic for some reason. He's just jumped into it and go, oh, I'll do this. What we've got here is his Twitter statistics. It's actually from Social Blade. And if you actually look, it shows how many tweets he's been doing a day. And after you go, you, you know, tweets. On the 12th of June, it was 245, 270. Oh, he went down 100-odd. But if you look, the most he has ever done in one day is 302 tweets. In one day. One day. That is a hell of a lot of tweets to have in one day. 302. And it's a, I've actually got mine here. And you have a look at mine here. Overall, I have done 299 in a... 30 days. So everything I've tweeted in a month, this guy has basically done in one day. And plus a little bit more. That's just absolutely crazy to show how much and how far this guy is just being on Twitter each and every day. That's a hell of a lot of tweets to do, like, you know? he, I, If he is a lawyer, where's he getting the time to do all these tweets? You know, because lawyers, they're normally very, very busy. And they normally haven't got time to do that many tweets in one day. But again, you know, we don't know where he works. We don't actually know if he is a proper lawyer or not. And again, we just have to go for what uh, Social Blade says. But we're now going to get into the cream of the crop. The cream of the video. The meat of it. And we have the plaintiff's first amended motion to compel. So... It is 126 pages long. There's a few things in here which we marked out and written in red. But what I'm only I'm only going to read the first couple of pages, and that's really it. But I will leave a link below for anyone who would like to go through to it and give it a read. So, plaintiff's first amended motion to compel to the honourable judge of said court. Plaintiff Victor Mignogna propounded interrogatories and requests for production in his original petition in this case. Defendants Ronald Toye and Monica Rial were requested to answer these and request for production by June 10, 2019, 50 days from the date of service. 
Ronald and Monica provided non-responsive answers on June the 10th, 2019. Which are the ones we saw where they literally just objected to everything, you know. Monica even objected to everything. They objected because it was like confidentiality and all this kind of stuff. And it was stuff so they don't have to become, you know, made public for people to see. Which is a bit stupid, really. Plaintiff's counsel attempted to resolve this matter with Ronald and Monica's counsel to no avail. Therefore, due to Monica and Ron's discovery abuse, which is what we talked about last video and a couple of videos before, mostly because these people, they are abusing the actual discovery sentence. And basically, they should just give everything that they've asked for. You know, in the past, they've tweeted out, oh, well, we got this, we got that. And if I did have that, I'd get you out, take it all. You know, I'm not lying, this is what's happened, and this is the evidence, and these are the people's names and addresses. That's what I would do. But Monica and Ron, they seem to think different. So, Victor respectfully asked that the court overrule or strike Monica and Ron's objections and order them to respond to his discovery requests. Victor included interrogatories and requests for production of documents, along with service of his original petition. Prior to Ron and Monica's responses being due, Victor proposed an agreed confidentiality order to protect the identities of the women Ron and Monica claimed would come forward. And as Ron famously said, there was like a hundred or so women that he knows personally that will come forward. And obviously the four close people to him. Ron and Monica vigorously opposed any confidentiality order. However, Ron and Monica then refused to answer Vic's questions or produce documents without a confidentiality order. After the filing of the original motion to compel on June 21st, 2019, Ronald and Monica propounded amended responses, which are effectively identical to the original filing, though Monica did produce a small number of responsive documents. Ron and Monica counsel sent emails restating their intention to withhold discovery. And after we got the exhibits A, B, C and D below. Moreover, they say that numerous general prophylytic objections and other objections in resisting discovery. On the date this amended motion to compel is being filed, Ronald and Monica have had this and the requests for 64 days and they haven't done a single thing. So... The way I like to look at that is for 64 days, they've basically gone on Twitter. They've, you know, be the big I am, you know, oh, I got this, I got that. You know, I know all these women who are going to come forward. We got all this evidence to. Yeah, we're not going to tell you nothing. It's, it's all show and no go. That's how I like to look at that. Mostly because, again, in the public eye, they're like, yes, we've got this. We you know all these people, there's hundreds of women that are going to come forward and accuse Vic and they're going to say this against him and we're going to see Vic squirm. But then all of a sudden, on the other side of that coin, you know, which is in the, in the private sector, which they probably think, and they're like, no, we're not going to do nothing. We're not going to give you anything. We're going to cower here and say we object to everything because we haven't got any evidence whatsoever for you. But it almost seems like these people, Monica and Ron and everyone else, they don't seem to understand that all these documents are available online. I think they must think, oh, because it's here, it's not going to get, it's not going to get out, it's not going to leak. Well, it's not going to leak, is it? Because these documents are put on there straight away. So it's kind of interesting to see that they're playing, well, not playing both sides off against each other, but one side of the coin, they're saying, yeah, look at this. We're going to do that. We're going to take Vic down. We're going to character assassinate him. But then when you flip the coin over and behind closed doors, they're like cowering children. It's it's great to see. So we're going to go down to, down to the arguments and authorities. A party may object to discovery only if a good faith factual and legal base for the objection exists at the time the objection is made. And the objecting party must state specifically the legal or factual basis for the objection and the extent to which the party is refusing to comply with the request. And we've obviously shows here and the, uh, the rules. Broad or general objections are not permitted. Indeed, an objection that is obscured by numerous unfounded objections is waived. Then we got more, obviously, the Texas civil P and all that. 
an evasive or incomplete answer to be treated as a failure to answer. Ronald and Monica's brain jarring about face is a, in opposing a confidentiality order before demanding one is a pretext to avoid answering Victor's questions and everything else and producing documents in response to his requests. Indeed, persisting general prophylactic thirst, sorry, my mouth's dry, objections and answering subject to those global objections waives any objection to the discovery request. Had Ronica, Ronica? Wait, yeah, let's call him Ronica for now. Truly wanted a confidentiality order prior to complying with Victor's discovery requests, despite having one offered to them weeks before their responses were due, the proper procedure was to ask the court for a protective order and not to unilaterally withhold properly requested discovery. And this is the last little bit I love now from uh, Ty. Summary and prayer. By playing discovery games, Ronald and Monica have violated the rules of civil procedure and waived their objections to victors in territories. Oh, I can't even say this word now. My mouth is so dry. And production requests. Victor requests that the court overrule or strike their objection and to compel their compliance. Victor prays for such other and, and the further relief to which he is justly entitled and prays for general relief. And this document, man, it just goes on and on. Obviously, it's got a couple of things where they object to everything. You know, where they're like, oh, I object to this. You know, hearing and made without waiving or intending to waive, you know, all these things that they think they're going to get away with. But it's just brilliant to see that all these things that Vic has asked them to do, obviously, you know, the hundred plus ladies, you know, they're going to come forward. They're going to do this. They're going to do that, you know. It's in the public, it's not aware of you, and everyone at cons has happened to, they know about you. It's like, well, if they know about him, they wouldn't have kept bringing him back, would they? And I really do think that Monica and Ron, they think they're going to go and win this. I really do think that's what they think, but I really can't see that happening. Mostly because everything they've said, they haven't backed up. That's one of the main reasons that I see it not working. Because if they had all this information, they would have at least brought some of it forward and be like, yeah, here we are, this is what we want, this is what it is, now go and uh, say these never happened. That's what they need. They need to do it. They need to. But they're not going to because they haven't got nothing to give. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see you lovely people soon.